Have you lost Jose Reyes and Zach Greinke? Don't worry, they're not on your daily fantasy team. At least, they shouldn't be. This is Mayo's Triple Play for April 15th. Yes, since the beginning of 2010, Chad Billingsley only sports a 4-4 four four record in 8 starts against the Padres. 500. Can't be good, right? This is why anyone who looks at win-loss record to judge a pitcher likely suffers from extreme learning disabilities. It's hogwash. What matters to fantasy gamers is his stellar 247 ERA during that same stretch, as do his 44 strikeouts in 51 innings. Same with allowing no home runs and holding Friars batters to a 204 average. But then someone will say, but he's only 4-4. Four and four. If that person's you, maybe daily fantasy in 1975 is more your speed. Adam Lynn's gotten off to a dreadful 3-for-25 start this season. Usually, we consider a 120 average over any period a slump, but for Lind, this is business as usual. There is a modicum of hope today, though. For whatever reason, Lind sees the ball very well out of Gavin Floyd's hand. Lifetime, Lind 6 for 16 with two doubles, a long fly, and six ribbies off Floyd, translating into a rather impressive 1099 OPS. Save some money at first base and roll with Lind, because if you can't hit Floyd, you can't hit anyone. Unlike the majority of baseball, Brandon Phillips has hit Cliff Lee pretty hard during his career, going 8 for 26 with 4 extra base hits. That includes 3 doubles, a homer, and 4 RBIs, resulting in a solid 538 slugging percentage. Maybe Phillips has the inside scoop on Lee from their playing days together in the Expo's farm system. Think about it. That's all for Monday. If you want more advice on how to win big tonight, Check out Dan Dobish's Daily Bread blog, giving you a full roster of starts and the top guys to stay away from in the day's games. Find it on the Roto Experts Daily tab, rotoexperts.com daily. I'm Pat Mayo. See you tomorrow.